Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all getting safe. So for those of you who do videography, whether it's professional video work or even just something very casual for YouTube and TikTok, you will probably have heard of Jiyun. They are a gimbal maker. They make gimbals for everything from the really proper heavy duty cameras to something for a little bit more lightweight like my Sony a7C. I use this uh, Jiyun Crane M2. It's my favorite gimbal. So for smartphones, Jiyun has the Smooth series and right now, this is the newest product, Xi'an Smooth Q3. So this costs about 80 US dollars and it is one of the smallest, lightest gimbals around. So let's check out the packaging. So this is basically what you get out of the retail packaging. So you have the gimbal right here. You have a tripod leg. And then in here, not much. It's just some instructions and papers and charging cables. So the good news about this gimbal is it charges via USB-C. Okay, so the Xi'an Smooth Q3 is an improvement over the last model in that it is both lighter and smaller, but yet the payload is heavier. So the payload is how much weight a gimbal can support without stressing the motor too much. So this Xi'an Smooth Q3 weighs 340 grams and the payload is 280 grams. So 280 grams covers just about every slapped smartphone. So if you have a Oki foldable phone like a Huawei Mate X2, then no, it will not work on this. But if you have something, you know, even like a Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, which is a chunky boy phone, it's one of the biggest phones around, and I have a case on there, this will fit onto the Xi'an Smooth Q3 easily. So unlike other smartphone gimbals, which kind of bend in half, this one's portability comes from the fact that it has a slide out mechanism. So you just slide it up, lock it into place, and then that's it, the gimbal is ready to go. So unfortunately, I am not a fan of this clamp, which is a spring loaded clamp because I worry that when I put a phone in there, if I accidentally like lose my grip, this can snap back and hit the screen and damage the phone. I prefer the different type of clamps with the screw on the back. But anyway, let me put on the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. The power button, it's right here. So you need me to turn on the power button. Okay, so you notice that when I turn on the gimbal, it defaults to this portrait orientation because you know, we're now in the TikTok generation where everybody wants to shoot vertical videos. But for me, I like to shoot landscape, you know, proper video. So you can do so by just triple tapping on this trigger button. So if I triple tap, one, two, three, then it will jump into landscape automatically. And you see it's handling this phone smoothly without any issues, even though this is a pretty heavy phone at over 200 grams easily. Okay, let's test out the stability of the Xi'an Smooth Q3 with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra on top. Remember, this is one of the heaviest phones around. So one use case I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna use a lot is I'm gonna use the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, it's a main camera to film myself because this is one of the best video cameras in smartphones right now. So I just have to turn the phone around like that and film myself the main camera. And it actually gives me a little bit more reach because I can tilt the handle over and it gives me a little bit more reach that I can film myself walking with the main camera, not the ultra wide angle camera. Let's go over the buttons really quick. So you have this little joystick dial here that is self-explanatory. You control the motion of the gimbal. You can, you know, tilt up or down, hand left or right on the go like that. You have a mode button here that cycles through all the different modes. So by default, it's on pan follow. So pan follow means it will, the gimbal will follow your movement left to right. So no matter what, where I move left to right, the gimbal follows me around. The second mode, it's lock. So this is self-explanatory. Once you lock it, now it's gonna stay pointing just straight ahead. Now, no matter how I move, you know, I can be like. It's just gonna stay pointed forward the whole time. The third mode, it's follow. So this will follow you not just left and right, but also up and down. So when I point, bring the camera up, it, pan, it tilts up. When I bring it down, it tilts down. Finally, point of view just means it's the point of view of wherever my fist is pointing. So if I do that, it immediately point follow. So it's basically just a really fast motion. And you see the motor is handling the phone perfectly fine. Over here is a record button and here's a zoom dial to zoom in and out. Now these two buttons, the record button and the zoom dial, 
will not work if you're just using the default camera app. But you can download Xi'an's companion app in Apple's iPhone's uh, App Store and also Google Play Store. So it's available for iOS and Android. I've already synced up the app with the gimbal on my iPhone, so let's switch over to the iPhone. Okay, so now I have the iPhone 12 mini mounted on the Xi'an Smooth Q3. So let's open up the ZY Cami app. The gimbal's already on, so it should connect automatically. Okay, so now I'm connected to the Xi'an Cami's uh, app. So I can zoom in and out with just by just moving this dial. It's the same zoom level as the iPhone's uh, main camera, so it's not going to be the best zoom. Now that's not all. You also have a lot of different features, like you have filters and uh, these kind of preset modes. You know, like you set it and then you can film someone and it will edit a video for you. But to be honest, that's not the biggest reason why I would use the app. The biggest reason I would use the app is because there's a lot of these special modes that are quite fun. Okay, so the Xi'an app allows you to do trick videography shots, like a dolly zoom. So you just have to go to dolly zoom in the app, and then I'm gonna just lock onto her face, and then as it hit record, and now it's near back up. That. But that's not all. Even in just standard video shooting, you can do subject tracking. So right now I just need to draw a square around my girlfriend's face. Now it is locked. Now Elizabeth, can you walk left and right, please? And you see the gimbal is following her around automatically. I don't need to do anything. So the benefit of that is you can mount this gimbal on a tripod, have someone lock onto yourself, and then that is it. The gimbal will automatically follow your movement. So yeah, this is a GN Smooth Q3. It sells for around 80 US dollars. And I think if you are someone who shoots a lot of videos for YouTube or TikTok, $80 is a pretty good deal considering the app actually brings a lot of useful features. And the thing is lightweight and compact enough that you can put it into just any backpack or even a purse. So you can have this with you anywhere you go and you can shoot super smooth and stable videos. So yeah, that's about it for this video. This is the um, iPhone 12 mini footage shot with the Xi'an Smooth Q3. I'm gonna hop up these stairs right now. Let's hop up some stairs. I'm gonna uh, jump down some stairs. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you're interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.